So in this section, we'll be focusing on um, retargeting our character, learn how to import animations in a motion builder. Then I will show some cleanup and then how to export in Unreal Engine or any game engine you have. So first thing, let's talk a bit, I mean, let's talk a bit some basics in Motion Builder. So on the left side, you can create a new scene, you can open a scene, you can merge or import any assets that you have. You can uh, save the scene, save selection. If you have selected something, you can you can send to Maya or 3ds Max, import audio. You can from here you will be able to import animations, your clips, and export your animations. You can clean up if it's heavy. You, and if you want play blast or render of the scene, you can uh, render it here. You can have use some edit tools just to undo, redo, copy paste, or parent here, deselect. Uh, here you can plot There's some settings where you can set if you want. For now, you can leave it as, as it is. Or interaction mode if you are with Motion Builder, 3ds Max, or but I keep it in Maya. Then the layout, you can change the layout here and the rest. If you, yeah, you can find it here. Any tutorials you want, you can find it to help. So here you can view, you can change the panels, two panels, one panel, single panel, triple, or three or four. You can have a full screen perspective, orthographic if I want a front view or a back view or side view. Uh, so you can, so I can have it, I can check uh, See skin in schematic view as well. When you press Control W, you'll be able to see. It's like an outliner. You can see all the nodes of your in, inside your scene. You can change the camera switcher and display. You can have the models normal, X-ray for bones, and you can show and hide selected. On the right side, you can measure. It's like a ruler. You can track. Uh, characters, the character motion here, it's the same. You can draw here, it's a selection mode that's local and world space. Translation, rotation, scales, and the rest are some lights and cameras you can use. Here you will be able to, to, to see your action that is happening. So here we have take one. So if I load um, an animation, I'm just gonna well, I'm gonna load an animation. I'll show you. So I'm gonna show you this one. For example, I have a walk cycle here. You can see that I retargeted from Miximo, or you can retarget when any animation. Here it's the, the frames that you have. You can record, you can play the animations, stop and jump into a frame, or you can go at the end, start and end. That's the loop where you can loop the animation. That's the speed, you can uh, use it as a slow motion or normal speed. You can change the FPS up to 1000. That's you can snap or no snap on the frame. So if you see now, it's not it's not snapping on frame. So I will have it snapping on frame. Here you can set up the timeline. So for example, I have hundred where the start frame is hundred. I'll have it zero now, and it's the same for the end. You can have it any frame you want but for now I'll keep it like this and here you can adjust the range of the frames you want to work on and then if you double click you can bring it back so it's important to, to know 
this to know what is this. So from here, you can uh, control your rig. So if I press control A, I can toggle and see the skeleton. So if I select the head, this controls every every controller on, on my character. So that's the hand, that's the elbow, that's the shoulder, the chest, the hips. So here you will be able to load and save animation. You could create a character factor. You can define, which I'm gonna show you in a bit, how to retarget. You can plot. Here we select the character we want. So now I, I don't have any character selected, so I want my character to be selected. And that's, it's gonna control rig where you're gonna be able to animate. You can have it in a none where it's just a skeleton, or you can have it as a stance where it's an A pose. So I want to have it on uh, control rig. So the definition show us where the skeleton, so that's which skeleton and the name of the skeleton. So you can find out the bones and here you can find the controllers if you if you switch between on the on the top you can see the IK effectors and you can see the bones as well. Here is just the, the skeleton, so if I if I see if I toggle on this you can see the skeleton here. It's important to understand this is a full body. That's a full body with no pull. That's a body part and that's a selection. So for so full body means that if I wanna animate the character and add a keyframe, I'm I'm gonna put keyframe on the whole part. So that's a, a one part. That's a different part. So I'll put a keyframe on all of the parts if, if I'm on a full full body. So this one is with pull, with no pull. So if I drag the, the, the arm, it's not going to pull. But the difference, if I, if I select, it's going to drag, it's going to go with the character. And this is where, if you see, select just, just the arm. So I select the body part where it's just the arm. And if I put a keyframe, it's going to add it only on these parts here. If I select selections, I'm only selecting the hand, so it's just this, just the hand. So moving on, I want to pin, I will show the pin, so that's translation and rotation. So if I move the character and have it on an IK blend here, so I can put it on IK, that's the IK blends where you, you switch from IK to FK, I can uh, keep the hand is keeping the hand when you pin it. So and this you can just remove the pins and you can you can move the character as you want. Okay, moving back, I'm gonna go band it back and blend it to FK. And yeah, we checked out you can blend translation and rotation. So you can switch from IK to FK, as I mentioned, and you can uh, yeah you can check the properties, um, the values. So with F F F five and F six, you can toggle from global to local. So you can see the values X, Y, and Z. Here you can see the name of the of the wrist and the translation. I can change it to rotation with <coughs> E, R, and T, and W. Okay. Um, so yeah, you could play the animation. You can uh, play the animation check. So moving on, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna explain the navigator here. Moving on, I'm going to explain the navigator. So here you can see the, the objects that you have in the scene. For example, I have the reference and the root here. 
you can search on the hierarchy as i mentioned if you check that skin, skin, schematic view you can press ctrl w and check as well the nodes that you have so that's the bones for example i can check the bones of the character if i press ctrl e it's going to go back to my scene i can check if i have any audio cameras characters control rigs which we created here constraints if we need if we want to use these constraints namespaces materials poses we're going to use this for when we create poses you can see the takes that you have here so we have two takes textures video and videos <coughs> so moving here you can check the animation so that's the f curve that is called it's the same as in, in graph editor in maya where you can and find you can see the values you can clean up you can polish the animation you can set up automatic spline uh, linear uh, curves here the story mode i will explain it basic now it's just you can blend animation so you can for example you can insert a current animation track and you can select the track and you're going to be able to create a take and then if you have another fbx you can import it and you can blend blend it back again it's very useful if you want to blend animation in motion builder here we have our layers so you can create any layer you want you can remove layer you can toggle so for example if i if I want to change this character's uh, direction, I'll move on to global and then I'm going to rotate him without and I'm going to move him, him this way. So we make sure you have auto key on and also you can press S. Now, if you toggle, you can see I rotated the character and, and I'm on the full body, so all the parts so, so just need to, yeah, it's just maybe it's the heaps that I be, I rotated. So you have to make sure that you rotated everything. Actually, I can move on and maybe bring this this guy down, or you can change a bit the posture to make it more. So that's you can uh, you can use a layer to do this. You can change the the posture of the character. You can select the, the skeleton, and you can play around and, and see what what's best for you if you want to use the layer. So that's for full body where you can animate the keyframes and put on all of the body parts. So if I toggle, you'll see the difference. And if I want to select just the body part, so I will select, I will create a layer and I select just the arm. And I'll bring this arm up. And I'll add a keyframe. So I've added just on the on the arm. Okay, so we showed the layers, the auto key on. So let's say I'm happy and I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring this arm as well here. So I'm happy, I will go full body, I will select the heaps and go to the base animation and you won't be able to bake it, bake all properties to the base layer. So make sure that it's 30 FPS and then you're going to be able to plot. So we plotted, now if we remove the, the layer, now the character it's on the, the animation we created is on, on the base layer. So that's very, very important.
Another thing is, for example, I want this keyframe. I will bring this down and then I want to come back to the same position. I, will, I can use the zero, so it's going to go back. So went down and then up to zero. You can use it to go down again, then bring it up by zero. It. So it's very useful to, if you want to bring it, bring the animation back to base animation. Uh, so flat, it's for example, if I flat button here, for example, the character is, is here and I can control C and control V. So I want to copy the animation on this range. You need to flat, make the curves flat on the, on the graph editor. So that's what I what you mean by flat. So I'm flattening the, and then it's going back to zero. Um, moving on here, you can um, you can copy, you can create poses. So if you select the green button here, I'm gonna be able to create this pose. Uh, if I change this. For example, I'm just gonna break it a bit. So here, I copy. We can, we're gonna be able to paste this position, this pose to here. So this helps a lot when you copy paste poses. So you paste it with this, or you can update the pose. You can mirror it. So if I mirror, I can we'll be able to mirror. It's gonna be from the other side, but I don't need it. I'll paste it. Um, properties here is where you see the values of the rotation, translation, scales, blends, filters. You can use the filters to smooth. You can smooth. So you use the smooth. Just a small the area assets you can use it to, to use constraints. Usually, I use parent constraint, or you can use a range or rotation. Here, you can set up groups and you can set up sets for your, for your animations to export. So, that's an overview and a basic. I will, I will show in the next, uh, next session, next tutorial how to import the character, how to retarget, and then we'll go for a basic, a basic cleanup.